Hello everyone, my name is uh, Dr. Wei Kiong Tan, CTO of T-Smart Private Limited. Uh, it's a shame that we're going to meet uh, during the Photonics Plus on Santa Fair, but hopefully uh, the message that we want to share with you guys can still get um, shared through this uh, presentation. Now, uh, I'll be talking about the Turbo Power 2.0 from T-Smart Private Limited. Okay. Yeah. Just as a quick uh, company introduction, T-Spot Private Limited is a Singapore uh, incorporated manufacturing company. Uh, we've been around since uh, 2019. Uh, what we provide is novel and superior manufacturing technology to traditional infrared temperature sensing uh, architecture. Now, what we do is really to fulfill the need for predictive detection, solutions and analytics. So uh, we hope that the users of our products you know, can be inspired to develop new applications and uh, new ideas that uh, they have not been able to realize before. Now, we want our customers to be more thermally aware. Now, what that means is really to, be, to have uh, in charge of predictability, detection, analytics, and specific intelligence. So we like to challenge uh, conventional approaches in doing things, using enabling technologies to keep us safe. And ultimately for T-Smart, we provide these predictive detections and analytics solutions. Now our expertise can be broadly divided into uh, two categories. The first is in the area of thermal sensing. So here we are really talking about next generation thermal power sensor solutions. So uh, what we have is uh, offering all the benefits of the thermal power, for example, the high linearity and so on, uh, but with significant improvement in the sensing performance. Uh, I'll talk more about this uh, thermal power 2.0 sensor later on. Uh, the other part of our strength within thermal sensing is in the application design, whereby we try to understand the needs of an application and offer optimized uh, application boards to enable quick um, solutioning or prototyping. Now, our whole thermal sensing solution is also built upon uh, our new anatomy of packaging, uh, what we call the LAAP or Large Array uh, Aerial Packaging Format. Right? Um, so we believe that uh, the future of MEMS is really in packaging and that's why you know, we're coming up with new ways to package the uh, thermal power sensors. The other area of our expertise really lies in enterprise solutions. Now we are an enterprise solution company and what that means is really that we offer both the hardware and software solutions to aid customers to speed up uh, their product development cycles. Now, we base our software solution on this T-Measure platform, whereby it is a platform that offers multi-sensory, uh, that, that allows for multi-sensory inputs. Uh, it's powered by AI engine within the sensor core itself. And we're able to offer this deep insights uh, of the data collect. So we go beyond just pure raw data and offer deep insights for the applications of interest. Uh, all these are made possible through uh, our T-Smart middleware, which uh, allows for operation at the edge, and thereby easing the hardware infrastructure requirements. Now, going on to our product, uh, which is the Thermal Power 2.0. Now, we call it the Thermal Power 2.0 because we believe that it offers a very marked improvement over the um, market uh, available thermal powers. Now, uh, just a quick background introduction for those who are not too firm on uh, IR thermal sensors. So the IR thermal sensors basically absorb IR radiation and converts this thermal energy uh, into some form of uh, output through a temperature sensitive element. So the commonly seen uh, Temperature sensitive elements would be like the bolometers, which basically, uh, you know, uh, have a resistant change that is proportionate to 
the temperature that's being absorbed, uh, I mean, the temperature change. Uh, the pyroelectric sensors, again, whereby the temperature change is measured through the charge accumulation. And then we have the thermoelectric sensors like the thermocouples or thermopulse, which are essentially a series of thermocouples, uh, whereby the temperature change will induce a proportionate change in the sensor potential or the output voltage. Now, the key advantages of thermal power over the other uh, uh, thermal sensitive uh, elements are really in its highly linear response, right? Uh, what that allows for is definitely a easier calibration process. Uh, this absence of uh, frequency noise or so, uh, well, well, F noise, um, this is important, especially in uh, applications requiring imaging, as uh, this one over F noise will add to this pattern noise that we typically see in the IR images. And the thermal pulse, they are more tolerant to uh, uh, ambient temperature changes. Uh, we like to think of it they're more thermally stable. Now, of course, uh, it's not all uh, good for in the, in the camp of thermal power. The thermal powers available in the market today are typically plagued with very low uh, sensitivity numbers. Uh, the responsive numbers of thermal powers in the market today typically run at uh, about less than 100 volts per watt. Now, for T-Smart's thermal power 2.0, it is our answer to the main disadvantage of the current generation of thermal powers. Now, the responsibility of uh, power 2.0 is easily in excess of 25 kilo volts per watt. Uh, of course, that's measured at DC. Um, now, that represents a two orders of magnitude uh, of uh, responsibility that's higher than the current generation of thermal power. So, uh, the table below it really just gives a very quick overview uh, between the typical thermal power and thermal power 2.0. Now, one thing, uh, because of the high responsivity of thermal power 2.0, we're able to uh, reduce the active area uh, down to very small sizes while still maintaining very high uh, signal to noise ratio. Now, as you can see below, the signal noise, noise ratio for thermal power 2.0 can be up to like 15,000 uh, root hertz. Uh, responsibility at, uh, at die level will be greater than 30,000 volts per watt. And the noise equivalent power, power again, we're looking at uh, about two orders of magnitude better than the current generation of thermal power. And of course, with all this, that means that we do have a higher D star, which effect, uh, effectively is a figure of merit that compares across these um, uh, thermal detectors. Some of the features and benefits of thermal power 2.0. Uh, we, we're looking at the single element in this case in a package format uh, because we are introducing our thermal power 2.0 single element in our uh, TQ pack package, uh, which is this new anatomy of the packaging. Uh, it, it comes in a very uh, slim uh, pro profile package, you know, so it can fit into slimline products for, for customers. Uh, the IO pins are, will be TLCAN compatible, so it's an easy drop in update, uh, upgrade for existing products. Uh, because the package will come automatically sealed, it, it enables applications in very harsh environments. The dielectric construction uh, of our, of our uh, packaging uh, eliminates any need for secondary housing while maintaining very good thermal stability. So the high responsibility, of course, we've talked about that. And this provides for um, high sensitivity for applications that really require measurements of very weak uh, thermal signals in the presence of noise. Um, of course, uh, this is also uh, aided with the fact that we have very low noise equivalent power. Now, the thermal power 2.0 that we're introducing can come with an integrated lens option. Uh, that means that we can have a very tight field view uh, on a dial level um, uh, the, the format. Uh, because it has very small active area, so it allows for easy drop-in replacement 
to existing products with optical uh, uh, lens. Uh, and this will allow for a very tight um, field view. Uh, so, so this allows for very long distance measurement, right? Or maintaining the same uh, spot size. Uh, finally, of course, the signal to noise ratio, very high signal to noise ratio, which offers uh, greater repeatability of measurements. Uh, one thing to note uh, that we highlighted earlier, uh, which is on the, the field view enhancement, or another way to look at it is the distance to spot size enhancement. Uh, as some of you might be aware of, that the, the field view is, uh, there's a direct correlation to the detector uh, element size. And, and, and of course, um, the smaller the detector size, the smaller the field view that one can achieve for a fixed focal length. So if we to drop in Optum 4.2.0 into existing optics, uh, for example, the existing um, optics with a 500 by 500 micron uh, die gives you an original distance to spot size ratio of five to, five to one. Uh, if you were to drop in one more parts, let's say, uh, with a 40 by 40 micron uh, part, you will see an improvement to 63 to one distance to spot size ratio. Of course, uh, uh, as the table shows, you can get very significant improvement. You go up to uh, 1800 to one if your studying is uh, 60 to one at a 1200 by 1200 micron um, uh, sensor, sensor active area size. So our whole value add to uh, to this with our term power 2.0 is really the ability to offer very narrow field view uh, applications uh, without, without redesigning the whole optical system, right? So it offers a very simple drop-in replacement upgrade path uh, to enhance this distance to spot size ratio. Uh, the term power 2.0 has the highest term power sensitivity that's available in the market today. Uh, so which means that we can really use it for um, applications that have, might not been suitable for some parts before, for example, for gas leak detection or even for um, uh, spectral analysis. Uh, it allows for the smallest footprint in a thermal power sensor. Uh, therefore, it's well suited for you know uh, applications that require uh, very small footprint where real estate is a concern. Things like uh, wearables or ultra portable applications. Right. Uh, unfortunately, there will not be any uh, Q and A. Um, but if there were to be any questions with regards to this uh, presentation, or if you have any uh, applications uh, that you think a thermal solution would be helpful, I just like to explore and, and find out more of how uh, TSMART might be able to partner you and help you with your solutions. Please do contact us at uh, inquiry at tsmartsystems.com. Thank you very much.